It is that time of the week again. We are back around to Tuesday, and that means we get our Red Dead Online weekly update. With this week, there is not too much to go through, so this will be a quick one. As it has been for the past couple of weeks, everything is about waiting for that very next major announcement, leading to that next major update. And players are still expecting it to be very soon, as from this point onwards, it is now the longest time we've had to wait within this game without getting an update. And that leads all the way back to when when this game was first released. But anyway, before I get into this week's weekly update, I do just want to quickly say that I have now started streaming over on Twitch. If you would like to play Red Dead with me or even just talk about the game, then I have left a link in the description down below and you're welcome to be a part of it. But anyway guys, getting into this week's weekly update. This week is about the Trader and Moonshiner. So to begin with, there is a 50% roll XP boost on all Trader cell missions, resupply missions and also Trader free roam events. And in addition to that, there is a 50% roll XP boost on the Moonshiner Cell, Bootlegger Mission, and the Moonshiner Story Missions. If you are someone that has not got to rank 20 within either of these roles, then this is the time to do it. I've been telling you guys to prepare for the next update, and sometimes you don't have to go to the limits that I have to go to, but what would be recommended is at least you get your roles to rank 20, just in case it's required to unlock the next role. The last thing you want with this next update is for a new role to come that you you are very excited to be a part of, but unfortunately you have to play through one of the previous roles to get to rank 20 for you to unlock it. Now I'm hoping that's not the case, with the previous Moonshine update you had to get to rank 5 within the trader, so it may not require you to get to rank 20. But that was the first time that ever happened, and we now are reaching a territory that has never ever been touched within this game, so we really do not know what to expect. So my recommendation is that if you haven't got to rank 20 within the trader or Moonshiner, definitely give it a try. For this week, we have a new showdown series variation and this one says the featured showdown series is the explosive variation of name your weapon an extra points for eliminating your adversaries by employing the more combustible weapons in your loadout this week's new location is the wapiti reservation in amberino and i believe that this is the last new variation we have for the showdown series after this rockstar may announce a few more going into the next couple of weeks but a lot of players are speculating that next week we'll get that major update so i'm curious of what you guys Guys think? Do you think that the showdown series were leading up to an announcement or do you think that Rockstar have just released them early so players can enjoy whilst everyone is in lockdown and we still have some time to wait until we get that announcement? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. The next thing to talk about is the weekly discounts that we have within the game. We have 60% off all saddles, 30% off all stable slots, 40% off the roll belts, buckles, glasses, eye patches, rings and gloves, 30% off all coats and finally we have have 30% off the moonshine bar, band expansion and all cosmetic upgrades from moonshine property, so that's the bar themes, fittings and fixture upgrades and bar photos. With this, if you haven't already, I recommend that you buy the stuff at your moonshine bar and I also recommend that you buy the stable slots. 60% off saddles is good but all you really need is the Nakadoshis saddle as that is the best one within the game. If you already have that then you don't really need to buy any other saddle. If you don't have that then by all means certainly buy it. 30% off stable slots, I am guaranteeing you right now that there will be more horses added within the future of this game. And it's very likely with the new update we can see a rank 20 horse unlock with the new roles, just like we've had for the previous 4 roles that we've had. So what I'm going to be doing is going through my stable and buying any other stable slots that I haven't already opened, even if that stable slot is not going to be filled with a horse immediately, because at some point I will be putting a horse in there. Any of the other discounts that you can see is entirely up to you. I'll probably go through and buy a few coach, change up my style, but it doesn't really provide that much of a benefit from this point onwards. It's just a style choice within the game. And finally, we have limited clothing, which you can now see on screen. This is the stuff that is carrying over from last week, and this stuff isn't entirely new anyway. As said, with a lot of the limited clothing that we've had over the past couple of weeks, this is stuff that we've had within the game before, whether it be part of the Moonshine update, Summer update, or even Spring update last year. But as said, in previous updates, they were limited limited time clothing and now they are back yet again for a limited time. But anyway guys that is everything for this week's weekly update. Nothing too special in here just discounts, bonuses and a few limited stock items. The biggest thing is probably the showdown series. It's not a new game mode but it is a new variation of it in a new location. Before I end this video I just want to give you one last reminder that 
I am now streaming over on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Do you want to be a part of that? The link is in the description down below. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think next week is finally going to be the week when Rockstar announces the very next major update? A lot of players were speculating that it was going to be announced a couple weeks ago, but because this is the last week for the new variation of Showdown series and the limited time clothing that has lasted for two weeks is now ending next week, there are players speculating that it's going to be announced. And I'm just curious about what you guys think. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya. Thank you.